What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing more Day of the Tentacle. My name is Jorna. That's J-O-A-R-N-A. -A. And the first thing we're going to do in this episode is we're going to paint this kum kumquat tree red. Because now it will resemble a cherry tree. Alright. So there's a couple of things I need to give to Bernard. Uh, let's see. So the letter I need to put in the toilet. Okay, I flushed it. Okay, and Bernard can now grab it. Can now grab it. There we go. Um, let's see, stamp out. Health wanted, I have to put in the toilet. Oops. That right there. Okay. We'll grab that. Yoink! Uh, oops, no, inventory. Wine bottle, red paint, spaghetti. So, literally, he just ate a hoagie as a non-player interaction, and it gave me an achievement. That just happened. It, no, I don't need the, the can opener. No, let me go back here. What does this flyer do? It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner Yes, this has to go to basement. Hoagie. Uh, let's see. Use it with Chronogon. Grab that. Yoink. Oops. Uh, what else do you have? Videotape. A stamp. Stamp album. Chattering teeth need to go to Hoagie as well. Uh, so we'll have him grab that. Yoink. Funnel, decaf, regular fork, a crank, fake barf. Where's Boo Boo be gone? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Crowbar. Neat. Spearmint. My favorite. Um. Okay, let's use. Let's go over this direction. I have to go find Dr. Fred. Yep. Because I'm going to talk with him. Stop. 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 Hey, Dr. Fred. Uh, you're going to get really chafed hands. It has the mad science. We have to do we something. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day for mad science. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Um, catch. Yeah. How about catching? Why don't you just catch him? He's long gone, probably taking over the world as we speak. Uh-oh. Fru-Fru Emerald stolen, circular prints left behind? What the hell is the Fru-Fru Emerald? It's dry time. Soon we'll all be speaking, well, English, <laughs> I guess. Alright, uh, what if we unpollute the river? I guess I'll have to save it. I guess I'll have to go save the world myself then. I have to put... Good luck. Decaf in his coffee. How about a top? Top. Decaf wouldn't help. No, there. no, no, no. In the coffee. The coffee. Not the mug. There we go. How about a refill? Mm, thanks. I needed a little pick me up. <laughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Sign contract. What, what contract? So he's gone. Oh, he's gonna open the safe for me? Oh, 
it would be fast to grab it. Oh. He almost took my hand off with the door. Okay. Um, I have to come back to that. Let's go back upstairs. Talk to the failed uh, novelty guy. And I thought glow in the dark fake doo doo was such a good idea. Let's. Uh, no, we cannot use the phone. Let's give him the letter. Dwayne. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. I always thought this was so funny. Like, You're brilliant. What an everything in the world needed... Someone had to sit down in a room and go to themselves. I've got a great idea. Thank you. Go and grab this gun. Uh, let me take a look at it. When you pull the trigger, a humorous flag is propelled out of the barrel on a stick and unfurls. All right. Let's go back downstairs because I think I have to trade that with the other guy. Um, can I use this with the other cigar lighter? Look, a three-headed monkey. Where? Uh, I don't see anything. Kleptomanic. Oh, never mind. Ah, yes, and now I can ask him for a cigar. And it won't blow up in my face. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Uh, nice cigars, nice please. Cigars. I would like one. So, want another cigar? Sure, why not? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? <laughs> we got a funny guy. Swing and a miss. I don't get it. Get lost, kid. You don't know me. I'm a novelty enthusiast. Okay, let's go back downstairs. And we're going to put the give the cigar to Hoagie. Yep, there we go. Yoink! Thank you. Walk down the path, back to the motel, or to the inn, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I have to fill up the bucket with water, don't I? Hang on. Uh... Use the bucket with the pump. Bloop. There we go. Okay, yes. And then I put the soap. The water's all sudsy now. There we go. We're making progress. Right, let me go back over here real quick. Um, use the flyer with Mr. Jefferson. I don't wanna. Can I put it in the time capsule? I don't wanna. I gotta. Somebody has to use the. I don't want. God damn it, Hoagie. I don't want. All right. You. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Um. You really have wooden teeth. You really have wooden teeth. As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Uh, what do you brush wow. them with? What do you brush them with? 
I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Ugh. Um... Well, I gotta go. Right, I gotta talk to him about the cherry tree. Go chop down that cherry tree. Excuse me. Yes. Um, cherry I've trees. Thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truth, eh? Well. You can cut down your own cherry tree. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh. Huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. <laughs> it's just that easy. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. Poof. Hooray. Voila. You're quite a man. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, so I have access to Laverne now, which is great. Oh, okay, do anything with the tree? Scratch one kumquat tree. All right, let's go to Laverne. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something, or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner, getting dressed up for the human show. <laughs> owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Oh. Well, don't worry let's about it. Let's put you down. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do I have an in inventory here? Scalpel. <sighs> Talk to the Is old that man. You? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human <laughs> race. All of humanity. Who are you? Oh, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Zed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, let's see. What is this about a What's human show? This about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. <laughs> Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. <laughs> Pointy-headed goon. And they were right. I heard that. All right. Well, I've got a lot of rotting in jail to do, so... Yeah, me too. All right, we'll come back to her. Let's go back to the inn. I need to get that scalpel to Bernard. Um, oh, can I wash the wash the white carriage? Dum -de -dum. Like that's the only way to get the clouds to move in. Everybody following that set of logic? Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Mr. Edison. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's oh you. Franklin. Wow. Where are you going? <laughs> what about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind, apparently is still in a state of relative infancy. Hey-o. Back to the drawing board, I say. 
What a genius. Let's go back in here. Go downstairs. Give him the help wanted sign. Because, you know, reasons. What's this? Mm, help wanted. Moronic drone. Mm, assist genius. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> well, I'm the only genius around. And you look dumb enough uh now pick up your lab coat and get to work you got it i'm gonna grab that lab coat you're welcome buddy all right i'll tell you what guys i'm gonna pause the episode right here i'm gonna walk back into this conference room and talk to george again we will pick things up in the next video my name has been jorna everybody that's j-o-a-r-n-a and i will see you all next time